can this be produced on an industrial scale? Absolutely, and it's, it's a very, very important point. Um, as we look at the, the energy transition, um, which is our, our, our migration from uh, fossil systems to renewable systems, um, it's very important to, to look at the aspect of scale. Uh, and the first point being that the scale of consumption at the moment of fossil petroleum is, is simply enormous. I mean, colossal. Um, and therefore, you know, any substitute has to meet, meet, meet that level. The significant thing for me is that synthetics are viable at scale. Um, it's not small, it's not without challenge but it, it will actually work in our view. And we're not the only ones at Zero Petroleum to uh, believe that to be the case. There are reports from well-respected bodies. Ricardo produced a report in December looking at exactly this point. They were considering Europe as a body. And, and the conclusion was that uh, if all energy has to come from renewables, primarily, wind and solar, uh, and this will be consumed in through three, three media, three channels, direct electric, hydrogen and hydrocarbon fuels. Uh, easy example of the latter would be aviation, where we will continue to need kerosene uh, almost indefinitely uh, until some other technology uh, is developed. Um, then you know will that scale that was the question of the report and the conclusion was that there was more than enough capacity across europe to provide renewable energy for for the whole market including uh, the synthetic hydrocarbon component um, what they also concluded that that couldn't be met by um, biofuels and fuels from waste uh, which is another pathway to hydrocarbon liquid fuels. Um, they recognise a, a, a niche provision from the bio sector, um, but th this this will not form part of the core provision um, in the long term. Uh, many reasons for that, uh, but not least the quantity of water needed to process um, these biological based fuels. So um, synthetics uh, using carbon capture from direct air capture of carbon dioxide uh, is seen as, as the pathway and it, and it will scale. I can give you some numbers for that, um, just to give a feeling. Um, a 777 aircraft, Boeing 777 will fly typically 15, 16 hours in every 24 hour period. So spending most of the time in the air. Um, at current efficiency levels, which will improve, a um, solar farm of about eight square kilometres would supply that plane with fuel continuously. So it would keep that, that plane in the air, making a synthetic kerosene. Uh, so that eight square kilometres sounds like a lot. Um, as I said, I think that number will come down in, in time, potentially you know, even uh, to be halved. Um, but, you know, the, the, the land needed doesn't have to be high grade. You know, that can be done in, in uninhabitable parts of the world, deserts, but particularly doesn't need fertile or good land. Of course, we've got offshore for wind, you know, there's, there's almost limitless opportunities offshore for wind. So um, it will scale, the, the scaling is not easy, but it's very feasible in my calculation.